Good morning, everybody. Back in our little fairy tale kingdom. <laughs> That's funny, Sunny. Uh, so our princess, hopefully, has everything she needs now to get out of the castle. She's ready to rock. Let's see. I think if I remember correctly, wait, we need to go in the library and tell our birdie friend, Cheep Cheep, that we got the goods. Hey, Cheep. I've got a pot of gold. I have the pot of gold here. Go on, take it to the stud. Oh, I realize it's too heavy. <laughs> I, want an I know he looks so out of place there, doesn't he, Sunny? Oh, we're not ready to go. Darn. Mm. I thought that we were ready. Shoot. I'm ready to bust out of this castle. All right, so she's got to get us. I'll be back soon, cheap. Drink the elixir. I wonder where we get that from. Can the book tell us? I wish there was something to indicate that the book was wrong. Oh. But unfortunately, it's very sure, and I know it's right. I'm pregnant, and I don't know how, and I don't know why. I do want to get that. I need to get out of here before Mother finds out. The Archmage in Seastone. I do want to get a sword off of this and start swinging around. That's what I want to do. It's said that a ruler in the north wanted to build himself a throne out of all the swords of conquered enemies. Unfortunately, he died after only conquering one enemy when he refused to heed all the warnings and sat on the throne. Yeah. All right. I guess we're going back to our bedroom. Maybe we got our potion up there somewhere. Doesn't look like anything has changed up here. I don't know how Cheap Cheap escaped the music box, but he does say he knows various mystical fighting techniques. Huh. <laughs> All right. Maybe there's nothing. No, don't do that. I just want to take a turn around the room. I was hoping maybe she had her strength potion stashed up here, but it looks like... She, let's look out here just to be on the safe side. Looks like she's gotten everything that was out here. I wonder if there's a book in the library that could help us. Where are you going, princess? All right, back downstairs. No, I need a bit more practical experience in fishing before the book will help me. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't actually gonna look at the fishing book. Just thought there might be another book here she could read. Hmm. We seem to have played out all the books that we have to read. Okay, let's go talk to our little bonsai buddy. I don't suppose we have a, med a potion in our in our backpack, do we? Okay. Pot of gold will be accepted anywhere as payment. Whoop. It's a bit less than a pile of filthy lucre, but a bit more than a heap of dough. Oh, that's interesting. So she t can talk about what's in there. Look at that green hat. It looks like a leprechaun's hat right there. I hadn't noticed that before. All right, let's go out and talk to um, our little bonsai buddy, Arbor. See if he knows anything about this strength potion. Have we done anything with the bird bath yet? There's only a little water left in the bird bath. 
Just talk to it, I guess. It evaporates quickly. I, however, think that the constant need to replenish the water is more down to his unbridled joyous splashing and not insignificant body mass. Hmm. Oh, maybe we can go up and ask our... Well, no, our mother wouldn't tell us. Maybe our dad would tell us. But we'll see what he has to say, if anything. You're having a good time, I see. What can I do for you? I need a strength potion. I don't need your spade anymore. I've put it over there. Ah, that's great. And you've dug a lovely hole, too, right in the middle of my door. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. Oh, what the heck. I'll plant it with something. I have to get on. Don't work too hard. Arp, that I won't. Okay. Hmm. Yes, pop it. Hypothetically, if Chief All right, here we go. transport something heavy through the air, how could I help him do it? You could ask me to give him the necessary strength, <laughs> which you have just done, have you not? Oh, I hope so. Really? That would be awesome. Of course. But the effect would not last long enough to transport you to, uh, let's say, sea stone. Doesn't Morning, Suki. It's just a How's your distance. day going? Good to see you. All right. Bring me some sunflower seeds. Okay. Now we now we got we're we. Oh, because he wants a snack. What exactly do you want to do? Now we're moving along. Seeds? You'll see. It will make you chief strong enough to carry even a heavy load for a short while. Enlighten me, Father. Quiet sky and the burning sun. Deep in prayer, anger, the humorous god. This guy's kind of like hmm. the, uh... I'll need to have a think about that. Like the Zen lady in, uh, Bug Snacks. <laughs> I've got quite a lot to think about. Alright, let's go Goodbye. get some sunflower seeds. See you later, Father. And we'll be right back. Oh, down into the garden. We gotta do a lot of running around here. Let's see. Library. Nope, come this way. And. Oh man, we are going all the way around the mulberry bush. All the places we already just were. If we'd have just done it in the right order, huh? We would have saved some time. And pick some flowers. Or seeds. I'm going to have to take a few more of your seeds, but I promise this is the last time. Well, perhaps the last time today. Uh, let's climb over. Might be quicker. And back into the throne room. Funny to me how it says speak to the king instead of speak to her father. <laughs> Here, Dad. Look, she's steppy stepping all around until she gets in the right place to talk to her dad. Pa? Yes, Pop is. I have a few sunflower seeds. Here. Good. Keep still. Rummage in his beard. <laughs> oh. That's it. Just give Cheap Cheap these seeds to eat shortly before he starts on his journey. Thanks. Whatever you did to those sunflower seeds looked like magic to me. Oh no, it was the opposite of magic. Nature. Life, Nature. Pure okay, life. Sunny. And what exactly do you mean by that? 
Listen to the wind in the willows and the mole and the toad. <laughs> you know the answer? That seemed like enlightenment, but well, well, you know, every time we're here, we gotta see what weird thing he has to say. Cackadoo. Why, by those who are unwary, are amongst the greatest wonders of the world. That is interesting. I got the enlightened trophy. I guess that's maybe for that's asking that. To think about. X number of Good times or something. <laughs> I guess it pays like off that I want to listen to his jibber jabber uh, every time. <laughs> All right, go. All right, let's go in the library. Give the seeds to Cheap Cheap. Hopefully. Hopefully we don't have to go back upstairs and put them in a bowl or anything like that. Whoops, not the book on fishing. Nope. How do we talk? There we go. We're hey, ready cheap. to bust out of here. Father's changed the sunflower seeds. <laughs> He's well, excited. Can you feel anything? Here's a pot of gold. Don't use now, it all up. It exaggerate. doesn't last very long. Okay, okay, here. <laughs> oh, I hope it works. But what's he going to be like when he's super cheap? He's got enough of an exaggerated opinion of himself as it is. Yay. Now we got to get on the hippograph and bust out. Hopefully. Wait a minute. Now what? Hopefully he's going to come back. I don't know if we're supposed to wait here for him to get back. Oh my goodness. That bird is busting. Oh, that's overdoing it a bit. <laughs> I wonder if the... Um, Oh, I don't want to go to the library. I guess I have to. I wonder if the hippograph is in that box. That's unexpected. He climbed off the balcony. It's too bad you can't climb back up there. It would be a little more direct. I thought you just wanted to deliver the pot of gold. Oh, I brought the hippograph back too. <laughs> you deserve it. Excuse me. It's really in there, is it? Our hippogriff. Hippogriff. Like Why Harry did Potter. Why put it in there? Couldn't they have just let it fly back with you? Yeah, what about that? You mean it was in the box already? You didn't actually see it? Hmm. <laughs> I'd love to have your trust. Oh well, at least it's pretty lively. Who knows what's in there, right? Cheap Cheap blind purchased the hippogriff. His trust in the Aculeus stud is far greater than his mistrust of humankind's capacity to deceive. Break it open. Relax, I'm on it. <laughs> um, you've still got the receipt, haven't you, Chief? The little chap has enough strength to demolish a heavy wooden box. That's a pretty good sign. <laughs> well, it's a it's a it's a a steed fit for a princess, right? A pink flying pig. Um, cheap. Didn't the hippogriff in the magazine look a bit different to this? Bigger, a bit more. Oh, it's a hippo. I thought it was a pig. Hippo? Is this the effect of the epidemic? Mother said it changed things. Ride the hippogriff. You are strong enough, aren't you? You were able to demolish that box just now. <laughs> Can you carry me as far as Seastone? 
right then. Murdered? By oh no! Uh oh! There's something strange afoot, Cheap. Mark my words. I don't this changes everything. It. Someone's responsible for this epidemic and someone wants to hurt our friends. Wait, you don't believe the Archmage was murdered? She doesn't seem shocked enough by that. Away to see Stone. <laughs> and we earned the Great Escape Trophy. That's funny, the game says it's arranging nice weather. Dropping a penny. Okay, here we go. Now the action's going to start. My name is Weathervane, <laughs> Professor Weathervane. You want to teach us? Well, yes. So didn't it say Weathervane so murdered the mage? Magic. Wait, what? I can and have. During my mage training, I, um, yes? My mother also says that you should not be a teacher. Oh, a but couple of little great, snarky professor. kids. Oh, thank you. Say, Professor, what exactly is the magic constant? How long must Veritas Serum mature? What can you tell us about ancient magic rules? So clearly this one's the Hermione Granger of the game. Uh... How about you sit down properly first? Flying pink mini hippo no. pig. <laughs> nope. That's what no exactly did professor. you put in that tea this or morning, this afternoon, more Suki? More properly, yes, <laughs> Professor. Nope means yes, Professor. That's going to cause some misunderstandings. So, the magic constant? Very similar, <laughs> ancient magic. Well, Sunny, uh, you missed us flying out on a something. pink hippo. Oh, <laughs> uh, you seem to really know a lot about magic. More than you, anyway. Maybe we should switch places. All right, I don't like this little smart alecky kid. Maybe you kid. should shut your. Uh, yeah, right. We never talk to teachers like that in my day. Well, we do in mine. Thank you, Sunny. Like answers to our questions. And Suki, if you wouldn't mind to reciprocate and give Sunny a shouty, that would be awesome. I can answer all uh, of that. I, uh, I will answer all your questions, but look at the skeleton now. sitting up in it's the time cage. For history of magic. Then I have a history question. As everyone knows, gnomes are completely incompetent when it comes to magic. You're a little smart, Alec. Who's this, this little girl? Exactly. All she does Only is go. One great gnome mate has appeared <laughs> in the last 800 years. He defeated Grandma, the last of the great dragons. What was the name of that last great gnome mage? He was called Sit Down at Your Desk Properly and Don't Ask Stupid Questions. Oh, what I'm sorry say? about that, no Sunny. I was just oh, thinking today, I was wondering when you were streaming again. Supposed to be any bad oh, what's going any on today? There really is something bad in the milk. <laughs> not, not right now. We will uh, open your textbooks to page 100 and... So, I was right, wasn't I? You know nothing, not even the name of the only great maid your own people ever produced. I, um, <clears throat> I, I just need a drink of water. Frog in my, in my throat. Ha! I thought he was going to pull a frog out of his throat. Oh, man. Master Marcus warned me that the students would test me the first few hours, but this is a nightmare. Look, he has a teddy bear on his bed. I don't know all these things. I think this guy is part of the band of base characters. Easy, boy. Easy. Think, Wilbur. Think. I wonder why we're looking down on him like this. Can he walk around? Let's see. Oh, okay. Here we go. A bowl of fresh, cool water for my roommate. The entire school building is a bit scary. No one knows exactly where it was the last 20 years. Well, that's it disappeared interesting. disappeared overnight and then reappeared just as suddenly once the war ended. There's a lot of magic in these old walls. The stove is always on, for example, and even though I've never put any wood in it. Look at the stove. Oh, that was that's the stove? 
It doesn't look like a stove. It kind of looks like a bookcase. A beautiful golden ear trumpet. One of my predecessors must have laid it up there. A very tall predecessor. All right, I think we're done with the stove. This is Friedlin, my rabbit sheep. Rabbit sheep? I cast a transformation spell during my mage training. And this is the result. I wish we could see from a different angle. Look at Friedolin the rabbit sheep. I think we make a good team. A young mage and his rabbit sheep fighting side by side. Rabbit sheep. Football. I want to get a good look at the rabbit sheep. Marcus explained it to me. He'll know how I can tame those unruly students. Oh, can we call him up? Yeah, right? Look at all that stuff piled up everywhere. Use the magic ball. So, what oh, was here that we go. Again? Six, four, seven, three, one. Hello. Ah! <laughs> oh, <number. laughs> Wrong number. <laughs> I can't remember Master Marcus's number. I had it written in my notebook. I know, it's kind of gross. Okay, so I guess we gotta find his notebook. Wait a minute. Wait, what's that up there? My whole family stayed in the White Ridge Mountains. Why would they even want to come to Seastone? This isn't their world. Little Sydney can walk now and reach everything that's on the workbenches. That tripled her invention output. Maggie doesn't build battle robots anymore since the war is over. Now she's experimenting with computing machines. But Grandad said there's no future in it. I feel like we're missing so much based on not knowing about the Book of Unwritten Tales 1. Like they're alluding to stuff that we... Look, so like we got this that we don't know about. Here, look at this teddy bear. So we're, we're right there in front of it. There we go. Look at the teddy the teddy is just, uh, you know, a keepsake and some moral support from home. Soft and cuddly moral support. The hitbox is a little challenging, so to speak, in this game. The hitbox, so to speak, is a little challenging in this game. Like, I want to jump up on the bed so I can look at... Oh, aviator the glasses. the aviator goggles that my granddad gave me before my first trip to Seastone. I well, think I would have... a pair of aviator goggles. The original pair was lost when Grandad fired me out of the cannon. <laughs> All right, I think that maybe that's everything. Oh no, here's something else on the bed, like a ticket or something. The bed is pretty cozy. It's so Ew. cozy that it doesn't look cozy at all. It looks gross. But that's okay. Like a Friends hoarder share. lives here. And he lets me sleep at the foot end. Oh, I thought he was looking at that scrap of paper. I thought maybe we'd get something interesting going on there. All right, it seemed like there was a book over here, like up here. Master Marcus and the Archmage were so busy rebuilding the city that no one had the opportunity to teach me anything about teaching. This box was in a shop window down in the city. <laughs> so After all, there are children with magic wands on it. But unfortunately, it just seems to be a bunch of those tricks. Like that old one with Mr. Wupperman, the top hat and the rabbit. Mr. Wupperman? Short white rope, a pair of dice, playing cards, and a guide on how to lead people up the garden path. That might be That's useful. Just not right. Real magic or none at all. It can't be healthy in the long run for Friedelin to always eat parchment and old scrolls. Perhaps he'd like the pet food I bought. Oh, so he's eating up all the uh... Oh, now we're, now we're playing as... Okay, so now he's got the little backpack. I thought this was just an interlude. But I guess we're going to be him now for a bit. See that scroll up there? It looks like... Look at the junk. Like this before I ever moved in. Oh. Generations of teachers he's letting us know it's not his fault. I like it. School is a history. I'm, when I have time, I'll rummage through it. But having the rabbit sheep on his bed seems like... That's his fault. All right, I think we got everything in here. I hope you all were paying attention, so later when I can't remember, you can tell me where something is or what I might need. All right, let's try the... Wait, what's that on the back wall? It says diploma, maybe? I can't remember Master Marcus's number. I had it written in my notebook. Where's your notebook? Wait, what is that? 
Did we get that thing in the back? Look at the yeah, wand. My wand. The King of Thieves got it for me during my mage training. Cool. He and the other rats have been tirelessly helping to rebuild the city in recent months. They work closely with the Archmage. <laughs> me neither, Sonny. <laughs> oh, good, Suki. Take the wand. Oh, no, no. Take the wand. Oh, no. Shoot, I was already turning. <laughs> Take the wand. Okay, now he's got I his still wand. still haven't figured out exactly how it works. Sometimes it performs the most amazing magic. Sometimes it can't even... <laughs> <do anything. laughs> Archmage Alistair's promised to have a look at it sometime. Maybe it has a loose connection or something. Well, take it. There we go. Now we got our broken wand in our pack. I'm trying to look at that. There we go. Magical this contract. This is my contract. Signed by the Archmage. Maybe it's out on my desk in my classroom. The first in the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. At least the first since the school reappeared. Wow. But he doesn't know how to be a teacher? That seems kind of like not a very good school. Okay, so we got family photo... Take the bowl of water. There's no way I'm taking the bowl with me. I mean, how am I supposed to put a bowl of water into my pocket without getting my robe soaking wet? What's it's magic? It's not like I can just carry anything around. Oh, snarky game. But I could use the bowl here in the room. What could we use it for? Oh. Here, rabbit sheep. Do you want some water, Friedlin? <laughs> he seems to be hungry more than anything. He's eating all the everything well buddy i want to get down there close so i can see him what are you eating there hey that's my notepad oh no i still need that notepad it has master marcus's number i still need that notepad it has master marcus's number why want to let me take it i still need that notepad. <laughs> it has master marcus's number okay friddling Get the water. Oh, use the water with. Uh, can I just give him the water? So he'll leave my notepad alone? Hmm. Doesn't appear that I have tasty pet food. There we go. Can I give him that? Wait, and put that, there we go. Okay, we'll do it like this. I'll give you some delicious pet food and you give me my notebook back. Okay, buddy? All right, me first. Oh, okay. dang, bit my hand off. Now give me my notebook, please. Hey. He growls. The sheep rabbit. The rabbit sheep just growls. Hey! I still need that notepad. That didn't work. work. What happened? Now what do we do? I can't remember Master Marcus's number. I had it written in my notebook. Can we give him something to eat down here and like fake him out? There we go. Hmm, maybe I can lure Friedlin away from my notepad. That's it. That's all there is. Hey, Friedlin, look, food. All you have to do is hop over here and get it. Wow. My rabbit sheep has superpowers. Wow. But now the food is gone and Friedlin is still hungry. Oh, come on. Ah, no wonder. I didn't Yeah. Well, how do, what, what? It says, space-saving instant dry oh. food. Oh. water before feeding. But I thought we'd used it all up. Ah, crap. Exactly. Why didn't we read the directions first? Use the water with... Oh, I wonder if this is going to make Friedelin explode when that water in his stomach hits the hits the water, hits the food. This seems kind of bad. Like he's going to blow up into a big ball. See how well I take care of you? Then maybe we could talk about my notebook. 
<laughs> Gross. <laughs> um, uh, I'll, um, I'll read the instructions. All right, grab promise. the notebook. Sorry. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Yay. The way he looks at the moment, he could give Bertram the world's fattest hamster a run for his money. The world's fattest hamster. All right, can we look up the number? Oh. I wonder if Friedlin still likes pet food. I should buy a new package and see. Ha! <laughs> yes, yes, Suki. <laughs> I wonder if Friedlin still likes pet food. I should buy a new package and see. But really, it's Sazzy. All right, can I not go anywhere? Oh, close my back. Okay, use the magic ball. It says, Master Marcus, only in emergencies. 64179. This is definitely an emergency. I'm losing my student's respect before I even had it. Well, six, four, one, seven, and um, nine. Hopefully this will work this time. Yes? Hello? That's the Marcus. Wilbur, what is it? I think we just need to say help. Uh, students, questions, uh, help. Take it easy. Tell me what happened. Well, there's this boy who's naughty and cheeky and he doesn't listen to me. Wilbur, you're a teacher now. Of course the students are naughty and outrageous. You have to assert yourself. I've only been a teacher for a few days and I'm all alone. And the school is eerie and there's no textbooks and no one wants to learn anything and... Wilbur, no one expects you to be the perfect well, teacher. I think right the away. students probably Wake do. Wake your students' enthusiasm for magic. That would be a good start. Well, how can I inspire my students? I don't know anything about the history of magic. Obviously not. Otherwise, you would know that you'll never attract anyone with that subject. Ha! Huh. But it's in the curriculum. Oh, bugger the curriculum! Do what you're good at: cast spells. Fill them with wonder. Make them want to be able to do the same. But, but, I, I don't uh -huh. know. Aha! Wilbur, you conjured a sheep out of a hat, and you didn't know how to do that either. Go out there and knock them dead. Let the magic do the work. You may not know what you're doing, but you're doing it. Well, how's he going to teach him Just if he doesn't know how do to do magic. it? Just do some magic. Hmm. Why do I have to teach you all alone? Why aren't there any other teachers? Many majors died during the war. There are only a few of us left. Which is, I guess, how and Wilbur got the job. And now pursuing more lucrative activities. Alchemy, ghost hunting, children's birthday children's parties. Children's birthday parties. But, but training new majors is important. If the rest are just out for the gold, then who will take care of the next generation? Being a teacher is an important and honorable task, Wilbur. Even when others fail to appreciate that. If it's such an important task, why aren't you teaching at this school? Uh, politics. My brother is the Archmage, and he's in the middle of an election campaign. If he were to give his own brother a job, well, his opponents would just love that. Okay. But I'm not angry. I did my part. I trained mages when no one else would. Of course, we've only got two students, so... No mage the world has ever seen. Apparently, there was a powerful gnome mage a long time ago. Did he kill any dragons? According to legend, the last of the great dragons, Gremmer, was defeated by a gnome. Gremmer. That's the one I mean. What, what was that gnome's name? No one knows. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't save the people of the Southlands by accomplishing the impossible. Then he disappeared without a trace. Hmm. Wow. Wow, yeah. One of my students asked me for his name. Then he probably wanted to lead you up the garden path. Students want to find your weaknesses and see how far they can go. Don't 
take any guff. Your brother called me a natural talent. I am really quite good at magic, right? You did some incredible things during your training. I just wish I could control the magic better. Sometimes it just bubbles out of me, and other times, nothing. I think Wilbur is a little mm, unprepared. With time. I think he and should have stayed at his own school a little ingenuity. bit longer. Thanks for your help, Master Marcus. I'll get through the lesson one way or another, and now I'll get back in touch, okay? Ah, uh, sorry, but no, Wilbur. You caught me packing. I'm off to spend two exciting weeks with a couple of friends. What, you... you, you got on vacation? Well, no. Maybe it's more than just a holiday. I sold the mage school, as you know. I want to start something mm. new. Finally do what I really want to do. <laughs> role-playing games. Role-playing games? Live role-playing games. They start in a few days. We leave the normal world of magic, monsters and dungeons behind and immerse ourselves in a fantasy world. I play a removals contractor who is caught in a traffic jam with his truck and must therefore spend a night in a motel. Can you imagine what adventures could be waiting there for me? But mm. I thought being a teacher was really important and... That it is! <laughs> exactly, <I'm>... Sonny. <laughs> I'm Marcus. Hello? Oh. He said, ah, uh, but, the, but the subtitle said ham. <laughs> All right, let's go back into the classroom. Come on, Wilbur. You can yeah, you can as we RPG theirs, huh? All right, let's go out into our classroom. That's better. So what about the magic rooms? No one knows the name of the gnome that defeated Grandma. Nice try. Feet off the desk, or I'll make it bite them off. Enough with history of magic. Let's cast some spells. Fairy games doesn't sound bad, right? This classroom is kind of a mess, too. <laughs> ah. Impossible! Not bad, eh? Wow! That is magic. And here you can learn how to control it. Well, except he That's already said today. he can't control Tomorrow it. we'll do... Something else. Is this the principal, I'm guessing? Uh! Oh, sorry, honey. Get rid of that, will you? I need a word with Mr. Weatherby. Uh! Oh, that's maybe that's her mother. Kind of looks like it. Still with a vein. Nice to finally meet you in person. Yeah, you too. And you are? <laughs> How very precious. I rather thought it'd be wise to watch out for you, Mr. Weatherbane. Um, why watch out for me? You only play the innocent little country yokel. I always knew that. Your patron, Archmage Alistair, will not win the election against me. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. you know we're only three points behind him in the latest... Some points? intrigue happening. Um, no, I, I wasn't aware of that. Look at the picture of the rabbit sheep. I guess that's the rabbit sheep on the um, chalkboard. How may I help you? Help me? <laughs> One of the Archmage's top men wants to help me. <laughs> I'm somebody's you know top man. Is played, don't you, with the no, we don't know anything. What, we just got here. Things are heating up. The house of cards is starting to collapse. I know it, and Alistair knows it too. We both lie low, waiting for the other to make a mistake. And he has made the first. What? What mistake did the Archmage make? He hired you. A gnome with a fake diploma issued by none other than the Archmage's brother, Marcus. I earned my diploma, honestly. I have passed all three of the exams and... Gnomes know nothing of magic. Everyone knows that. And you've never taught before. But, but Archmage Alistair believes in me. As the head mage, he appoints the professors. 
But I'm the merchant council leader, and I assign mm. the administrative posts. Okay. Headmaster Block will reveal your incompetence, and the newspapers will report on the Archmage's dubious personnel policy before the election. Uh-oh. You shouldn't have just shot my fairy. <laughs> Do not underestimate me, Mr. Weathervane. I am very well aware that those are not fairies. Hopeless <laughs> Vagastus, flying kobolds. Don't kobolds. tell me you conjured them up yourself. Kobolds. Yes, I did. All five of them. Uh-oh. Amazing. Powerful magic is needed to manifest living creatures. That is why most necromancers only reanimate skeletons. Dead matter can be much more easily controlled. Because of course you know. Of course. You should know. The new headmaster. Who is he? Horatius Block. A good man. Very correct. And very strict. I suspect we're going to find if out. He can help this Horatius return Block. To glory, yeah. I look forward to working with him. Former glory. This old ruin, it was already run down back in my day. And wherever it was for the last 20 years, it definitely looks like they didn't have any Okay, cleaners. well, I agree with her on that one. My friend, Archmage Alistair, is better suited to bring the city and the country back into shape than anyone else. Oh, you believe that? He is a great mage. Anyone who doubts that is mad. And he was a great leader during the war, most of the time. But what we need now is someone who understands the economy. And that's you? I am a rich and successful merchant. I have rich and successful friends. Hey, who son. How are you? To Good afternoon. How's your day going? Alistair would step down for you if he believed that. You know what? I actually believe you're right. Strange, isn't it? How little he worries about defending his power. So I guess it's all been said, hasn't it? Yeah, I Indeed. think so. Indeed. You're on a sinking ship with a vein. But I could still be convinced to throw you a life preserver. I'm ready for this cobalt to stop flying around in circles. Mr. It's kind of hypnotizing. Perish with him. Here, elect Sybil Van Buren. She knows how to get it done. Come along, honey. We're leaving. There aren't any of these in my book of fairy tales, Oh, I'm Mama. sorry, Zahn. I know, honey. Who wants to look at something that ugly? Can you turn him into a unicorn? Or the Cheshire Cat? Or the Frog Prince? I knew it was yesterday, but I didn't know how uh, long the... So, I mean, I know you spend the whole week sort of recovering from it, but I was hoping you were... It was quicker. The recovery was quicker than that. Chantal forgot her book. Seems to be a book of fairy tales, but one of the tackier ones. Okay. This is the desk that Chantal, the daughter of the council leader, and little Timmy share. Hard to imagine two students being any more different. Chantal is only here because of its tradition in her family, and I don't think she really cares about magic or has any real talent for it. Okay. Timmy, though, well, he is eager to learn and was so excited the last few days. It's for students like him that we have to get this school back up and running. Mmm, a pencil case. A ruler. Mm. <laughs> Nothing special. Okay. Seems like we missed something. Look at the book. I don't think the Archmage even has brochures like these. No posters or town criers or plays. Either he lacks the gold or he doesn't want to conduct his election campaign in this manner. Alright, I think that was everything. The little fellas look like they've got nothing but mischief. Oh, in them. okay. I that makes they sense. Don't get into too much trouble. All right, so that's the cobalt. What else can we look at? Did we look at everything on the desk? Look at the table. Look at the book. Look at the brochures. Look at the dead fish in the uh, aquarium. <laughs> Wait, there's something right here. Wait a minute. There, look at the oh, plants. Most of the plants have dried up. No one looked after them. They don't look Only dried this up. This plant must have found a water source somewhere. Perhaps one of the windows has a leak. 
Do we have a task right now? Oh, we already it listened to you. It gives you hope to know that something beautiful and peaceful has survived in this gloomy building. Ah! Ugh. Uh, well, she she broke out of the palace on a flying hippo, pink hippo, and then we became this this uh, Wilbur. So hopefully she's on her way here. The last time a fire burned in this was before the school disappeared 20 years ago. And even if I could, I shouldn't start a fire in it anyway. The flue was broken, and the smoke would fill the entire classroom. Okay. Maybe we could clean. But based on the state of our room, I suspect it it's not a, a priority for us. Part of magic. It's a bit like cooking, except a stew doesn't kill you if you add the wrong ingredients. Or... If it's <laughs> yeah, who knew a hippogriff was a flying pink hippo? All right, I don't think we need to go into our bedroom. What's up here? Look at the apple. Teachers are traditionally paid in apples. I got this one myself because I didn't want to spend my first day without an apple. Wait, there's so many things. Book. This book looks very old and important. Half the class had runny noses. Most were recaptured. <laughs> this is the roll book where the teacher writes down any unusual events. Plus five points for defeating the troll. Minus 50 for leaving your dorm at night. Oh, maybe young Harry is right. That seems a little unbalanced. Whoa, school must have been more competitive back then. The book is too thick to read without looking for anything in particular. Okay. Guess we're done with that. Ooh, crazy drawings and symbols. That must be really high magic. Only the wisest mages can understand all that. Really? Oh, take the wand, take the wand. Wait. <laughs> Come on. It didn't let me down this time though. It worked even better than I expected. It was like it wanted to conjure. I could hardly keep it under control. I thought it was broken. Okay, back in our backpack. All right, what else have we? Hmm, unusual. This device looks more like ordinary engineering than it does magic. Eh, most magical devices have lots of golden parts, elaborate decorations, and bells and whistles, just the way the mages like them. This one could easily come from a gnome workshop. Okay. What does it say? The apparatus that corrupted student Allardyce. A warning to those who do not want to accept the limits of magic. <laughs> hmm. It seems a student by the name of Allardyce made this apparatus and it brought him grief. Maybe I'm not asking. Why, I'm not to the things lying around looking enough times. Hole, this apparatus doesn't look particularly dangerous. What does it say? The apparatus that oh, okay. Now we've gotten all our a warning to those talking who points. To accept the limits of magic. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, what was that one? I suspect that some sort of strange magical creatures were kept in the cages. Students and clearly for not tended to. Okay. <laughs> what? They're ugly, but I okay. summoned them. Therefore, there is a special bond between us. Is there though? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. I don't know who that boy was. He was a right pain in the ass. He However, was. he seemed to understand a great deal about magic. 
and if I managed to teach him some manners, he could be an excellent student. Hmm. Generations of students have left their mark, especially in the form of little pictures and sayings carved into wood. Here's a particularly long one. For all drifters and troublemakers, condemned to write the same sentence on the board over and over again, no problem. Cast the automation spell on the piece of chalk and it does it all the work for you. Bartholomus. Aha! Hey, aye, that's cheating. Pretty clever, though. <laughs> the spell carved into wood down there. I'll just write it down. Okay, so now we have a repetitive spell. My dad used to read me fairy tales when I was a kid. The bloodthirstiest, most cruel, creepy, proper fairy tales. I'll just leave it there. Chantel can take it tomorrow. I thought we were going to take it. I'll just leave it there. Chantel can take it tomorrow. Okay, we got a, like a five minute warning for uh, our break time. I want to take I'll it. Just leave it there. Chantel can take it tomorrow. <laughs> Why is it teasing me like that? This is the desk that Chantel, the daughter of the council leader in Little Timmy, share. Hard to imagine two students being any more different. Chantal is only here because of its tradition in her family, and I don't think she really cares about magic or has any real talent for it. Maybe we should just Timmy, go back though, in our room. Well, he is eager to learn and was so excited the last few days. It's for students like him that we have to get this school back up and running. Okay, I think that's everything. We looked at the plan already. Maybe it was always a carnivorous plant. Oh. But then again, perhaps it adapted to its new environment to survive. Carnivorous plant, what Don't it is. Worry, little eat. Plant. From now on, I'll take care of you. Maybe it'll eat you this cobalt that's flying anymore. around. Oh, I thought I was going to eat him. <laughs> More like Grandad whenever he's eating bean soup. Anything else? I'm going to hold my nose. That gas smells like, like, well, you know, gas. Luckily, that stinky cloud of gas is short-lived and quickly okay, vanishes. Okay, I think that's another clue of some sort. Luckily, that stinky cloud of gas is short-lived and quickly vanishes. Okay. It makes me think we got to talk to everything again. Since we're getting some different... Oh, now he won't walk around. I don't want to talk to the table. Look at the table. Oh, I'll we'll just leave it there. Uh. I can take it tomorrow. It's like faking me out. Why is it telling me that? What about all this other stuff? It won't let me look at anything else. I mean, I think we've looked at all this stuff already, but I feel like since we had so many different conversational gambits with the plant, look in the oven. I thought the oven was... Ash, but also some unburned waste. Mm. Here's a sheet of paper. Hmm, it's a sheet from a book. It's folded in the middle and printed on both sides. That a folio, as it were. <laughs> it wasn't torn out. It looks more like the glue weakened and the sheet fell out. I'll just take it with me. Okay. Anything looks else? Like someone wanted to start a fire and burn the book pages. Lucky for me, they failed. No? With a little luck, I can get through the day without causing an explosion. Hey, Yoda, how are you? Well, I don't know. We don't actually have a task right now that we're trying to accomplish, so... And we didn't actually get the plant. All right, before we go back in the bedroom, let's just scan around one more time. I wanted to ask the Archmage whether good teachers can expect any other form of payment than apples. But when he showed me the beautiful contract with the seal and all that, it well, just that's didn't good. Seem that's a good right combo. To talk about gold. All right, we already looked at the apparatus. I think we got all the conversational gambits out of that. I feel like 
I don't know. I got all these things at the desk that. I don't know exactly why the council leader left the brochures lying here. It was agreed that children can't vote. First, they wanted to base eligibility to vote on size, which of course led a resistance among us gnomes and the dwarves. And then they said weight should be decisive. The more you weigh, the more weight your vote. Hmm. But then the trolls and ogres would have been overrepresented. In the end, they agreed on a minimum age. However, there are still arguments because rats, undead children, and other minorities can never vote. That's a problem. This is the desk that Chantal. Oh no, I don't want to have that one again. Hard to imagine two students being I think we'll go different. back in our bedroom, Chantal's I guess. Only because it's tradition in a family, and I don't think she really cares about magic or has any real talent for it. Timmy, though, well, he is eager to learn and was so excited the last few days. It's for students like him that we have to get this school back up and running. All right, let's go see if there's anything else we can do in our room. Master Marcus told me everything I need to know. Hold your head high, inspire your students, and don't let things get you down. I just wish I wasn't entirely on my own. Okay, let's check out our little fat rabbit sheep. It wasn't easy to tell them I'm not an engineer, but a mage instead. Mum said she'd always suspected it. At first I didn't want to accept. I know almost nothing about magic. But Master Alistair said there are very few mages left, and I had completed mage yeah, training. Yeah, it's our rabbit sheep. Else. I was the right <laughs> person for the job. I wanted to help and learn more about magic, so I agreed. Hopefully that was the right decision. I wouldn't want to disappoint Master Alistair. Okay, you guys, it uh, looks like the ads are rolling and I need to take a break anyway, so let's go ahead and take a quick break right here and we'll be right back to try some more to figure out what we're supposed to be doing. And we're back. All right. That's when I found out Grandad has a whole box of these goggles. 
Every time he tries to persuade some idiot to do something stupid, he makes a rousing speech and then hands over <laughs> his old aviator goggles. Okay. So I guess we're getting a little bit of the lore, as it were, from speaking to these things over and over again. A few of the crates and boxes are labeled. Hands off. Property of the Half Blood Prince. Half Blood Prince? Shrewd Isn't that a Harry Potter character? Box could hold a dead cat. Huh. Or not. Ha ha ha. Master Mark has told me everything I need to know. So is that all the magic okay, ball maybe is going to be good for? Is uh, get you down. Maybe we're done with it. I entirely on my own. <laughs> I would have thought we would take the magic ball with us. Anything else we can look at? A magical stove is a fine thing in winter, but in the summer, this small room could yeah. become sweltering. If it's magic, maybe it turns off in the summer. Ow! That stone is definitely more than just warm. Okay. Is there anything else we can interact with? What's in our pack? So we got the empty cat food package, the notebook, campaign brochures, a spell, the wand, another spell, and a loose page. Oh, I didn't mean to. Uh, okay. I thought he would talk about it. Look at the shoes. Wait, that was a new one. Where'd it go? Ah. Shoot, come on. Where's that one that was down here on the floor? I don't even see any shoes, actually. All right, I guess. Oh, look away. There it was. Look at the shoes. <laughs> It's so old, it's even lost its ability to stink. <laughs> That's strange. There's paper in the bottom Ooh. of the shoe. Oh, maybe the shoe has a hole and the paper is supposed to protect the wearer from getting wet feet. Another book page. Or more oh. precisely, another folded sheet of paper upon which four pages have been printed. We're gathering up a whole book, one piece of paper at a time. On the first sheet and on this sheet. It seems there are at least five sheets missing. Okay, collectible action. I'm so glad we found the shoe. All right, let's take one more turn about the room. Show off our figure to its best advantage. Okay, I think we got everything. Look at the cobalt. I feel like we gotta do something with this cobalt, but. So we already looked at the apparatus. Read the roll book. Maybe I can find something in the roll book about this Allardyce mentioned in the note on the apparatus. Okay, that would give us something to uh, do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Said it was too yeah. big to Despite look for any old thing. Mornings, young Allardyce continued his experiments on his fire maker. To my great regret, I must say that the device works. He demonstrated it to the staff. <laughs> we have to have him committed to the asylum Aww. in Arkhamstone because of his delusions and insubordination. Oh, that's horrible. Hmm. A wizard who invents a fire maker and then committed to an insane asylum by other wizards. I guess they didn't understand his new kind of magic. It seems kind of harsh. Time, or they figured their monopoly was in danger. For a long time, wizards were the only ones allowed to make fire. Maybe I'll find another entry on Allardyce. Okay. Yes, here. A bit earlier. Oh, today I made a disturbing discovery. Young Allardyce, very gifted but also nonconformist, was making drawings of an apparatus. This apparatus could start a fire without magic, 
Of course, I took the paper away from him and showed it to the headmaster. He ordered two weeks of detention in the dungeon and added the drawing to the offender's file. Ooh, maybe we can go look them up. A talented mage invents a fire maker and is locked up for it. Huh, the machine remains on display as a warning. Pretty steep, but it fits with the stories about mages in earlier times. They were the only ones allowed to start fires. It was against the law for normal people. If the fire in a house went out, they had to call a mage. And of course, he charged for his work. Diabolical. They used to say, the faster the coin falls through the slot, the faster the wand makes the stove grow hot. Nowadays, everyone makes their own fire. Hmm, young Allardyce's fire-making plans could still be in his file. Someone should send them to his family and apologize. Okay, finally that uses up all those conversational gambits. According to the register, this is supposed to be a fire maker. But nowadays, we just buy matches. Let's fire it up. But in Allardyce's time, I guess majors still play hardball defending their firelighting monopoly. Hmm, maybe the fire maker used to work once. It certainly doesn't right now. Let's fix it. According to the register, this is supposed to be a fire maker. Okay. But nowadays, we just buy matches. It's but funny, some of them, time, when you use up all the things that, it, that he has to say, you, you don't get the prompt anymore, but some things, like this fire maker, still do. Hmm, maybe the fire maker used to work once. It certainly doesn't right now. Okay. I guess we're done with that. I'll just leave it there. <laughs> that one's a real red herring. This is the desk that shines oh, out no. the door to the council leader in little Timmy share. Hard to imagine two students being any more. I'm different. not crazy about Chantal that mechanic here because of its tradition in the family, and I don't think she really cares about magic. Some of them repeat, and some of them have it. new stuff, so it makes Timmy you keep though, clicking well, on the ones that you've to already learn. heard. So excited the last few days! It's for students like him that we have to get this school back up and running. All right, we're never looking at the table again. I can't take the book of fairy tales, even though the game seems to want us to. Oh, look! Now we can look at the fish. It appears they wanted to replicate the fish's natural habitat as exactly as possible, including miniature treasure chests, just like the ones frequently found in the sea. Hey, some old coins. Some old coins. Maybe one of my predecessors had a vicious fish guard his retirement fund. Well, we're getting a lot of stuff. When the school disappeared 20 years ago, obviously no one looked after the animals. Expected consequences. That's really. pretty horrible, uh, actually. We're getting all kinds of weird stuff, but we don't have a task, so we don't know well, what I they're good for. <laughs> but a sharp pointed bone like this might just prove useful. Okay. I mean, usually with these kind of games, I'm always like, you get your inventory and then you see where you can use it and then you move on to the next thing. But in this case, we don't have a task, as far as I know. Oh, now, all right, yay, we get to leave the classroom. Wait, what's this over here? Introduction to magic, sheep breeding and care, statistics. Sheep breeding and care. <laughs> well, as long as I'm the only teacher, most of these subjects won't get taught. Okay, let's get out of here. Archmage, Remy. Oh, cool. If it isn't oh my goodness, professor. look at that mess. How was your first class, Wilbur? I don't know. At first it didn't go so well. I, I, I wasn't properly prepared. And then? Then I asked your brother what I should do, and he advised me to do some magic. So I, I conjured up some cobbles, and I think the students liked it. Ah, well done. That's the right thing to do. You've already pretty much won the battle, Wilbur. Once they want to learn, they will. Hmm. What brings you to the school? I wanted to pay Horatius Bloch, the new headmaster, a first visit and see how the school's doing. That's very nice of you. But don't you have more important things to do? Well, it's my old school. I once walked these halls as a child myself. 
What the Archmage doesn't want to tell you is that something is wrong here. For a few days she has sensed the presence of something evil. Is that a little rat or something? <laughs> Talking? <laughs> so, so what's he like? The new headmaster. He's no mage, that's for certain. He has an He's agent very of Harry Potter uh, adjacent. Foremost, he is a reliable <laughs> official with principles, Raymond. The council leader of the merchants did appoint him, and he may advocate her policies. Yet I do not believe he will conspire against us. He is stern, but upright. Did you see the way he looked at me? Like I was burning? No, I tell you. The council leader has hired him for one reason and one reason only. He is supposed to make life difficult for our Wilbur here. Am I being set up to fail so they can put the blame on you, Archmage? Sounds like it. Ah, if that's their plan, then they have already lost. How's the campaign coming along? I hope we're winning. We're still in the lead. But our margin is shrinking. Van Buren's big wig cronies are throwing tons of gold into her election campaign. How are things in the town? Have things calmed down? Not really. The barricades are getting higher and the camp is getting larger. People are getting impatient, and who could blame them? The war is over, yet everyone is doing worse and worse. But you're doing your best, Archmage. It takes time, Wilbur. The deeper the wounds, the longer they need to heal. And nothing causes deeper wounds than war. We must deliver results. Most still trust Arista, <laughs> but the mood could swing. Then we would not only lose the election, we would have a riot on our hands. This little rat is kind of funny. The council chairman was here. She picked up her daughter from my class. Ah, terrible person. She has great influence, and she has friends in high places. She could also use her influence to do good, too. So why is she trying to bring you down? She believes that that would be a good thing, Wilbur. Almost no one wants to do evil. There are just very different views on what is evil and what is good. Well, that's probably true. You said you sensed something evil earlier. Well, he didn't say that. The rat said it. Everything we do and think leaves a trace. You know how you sometimes shudder when you enter a place where great evil has been done? Dark magic leaves a particularly strong trace. Like a bad smell. And it smells like dark magic around here? I first felt it a few Man, days ago. Man, I just want to clean this place up. First in the lower town, <laughs> then in the upper town. And now here, at the school. Where did it come from? I mean, do you know who's responsible? I don't. The trace dissipates. There is too much wild magic in the air here at the school. We must keep our eyes open at all times. Good detective work will serve us better in this case than some hocus pocus. I think I'll go see the headmaster. Goodbye, Archmage. Bye, Remy. Goodbye, Wilbur. Don't let them intimidate you. All I'll right. do my best. And I won't give up. I know. You go on ahead. I'll be along in a minute. Is the rat going to talk to us some more? Talk to you private, there are problems. That bit about dark magic all over the city does not sound good. It's not just that. I think the Archmage's life is in danger. What? Oh. There was an attack, or there may have been one. I feel like we're getting the shreds of a plot coming together here. Just break up the mage tower when he's standing below him. I have assigned as many rats as I can spare to guard him, but you must also keep your eyes open, Wilbur. Me? Maybe he's the head of the guard, the little rat. Something is happening in the school, too. We need information. We need to find out who is behind all this. I hear Alice. Oh, he's head of the Secret you, Service. Head of the Secret <laughs> Service. From King of Thieves to High Public Office, eh? It was the King Absolutely. of Thieves. <laughs> Made quite a stir. It is the first time a rat has ever officially held an official government position. More than a few are of the opinion that with so many humans out of work, rats should not receive any jobs at all. Mm -hmm. But nobody knows the city like you rats do. You really helped me out during my last adventure. You brought me potion ingredients and ah. my fantastic magic wand. Okay, and so maybe he'll Timmy be useful. And my entire clan from starvation. We'll never forget that. Who's we'll Timmy? Timmy was a great help during my first lesson this morning. Is he the yes, other snarky he kid? He absolutely wants to be a mage, just like his role model. Just like the archmage. 
No, just like the hero of the Black Tower. For Timmy and many others, you are one of the heroes who ended the war. Oh, me? Then, then it's best I talk to the headmaster and ask him what I should do for him. Whatever it is, just do it and act inconspicuous. But keep your eyes open for anything unusual while you do so. Okay. Well, things that look unusual even in an enchanted maze. Uh, got it. Why don't we meet down at the inn after work? Then we can exchange news. Oh, I just hope Headmaster Block doesn't keep me busy all night. You'll be fine. You defeated the Shadow Army. Never forget that. <laughs> yeah, just back then I wasn't <clears throat> alone. <laughs> all right. When you summon creatures, I've read that you don't really create them. You just call them from somewhere else. I don't know where the cobbles came from, but they don't give me the impression they want to go back there soon. If I was as big as a troll, I could maybe reach it. If? When you summon creatures, I've read you okay. don't really create them. You just call them from somewhere else. I get the feeling I these cobbles the are going to be but they don't give the a reappearing they want to go back character. Alright, so I guess we did finish talking to that. Is there another one down there? Wait a minute, we've already looked at the cobbled. If I was as big as a troll, I could maybe reach it. If? Okay, but what about this thing? Look, there's all these magnifying glasses, but we can't... The school looked terrible when it reappeared. Yeah, if it's it a magic school. Move freely on the ground floor. Don't even want to hey, it. Twin XT, how are you doing? Good to see you. Hey, Twin, are you a streamer? I don't think I asked you that last night or the other day. All right. Work streams. Nice. Maybe the tapestry shows who the knights served. I don't know much about these things, unfortunately. We didn't have knights in the Well, this is one of our, our little... Uh, they sank in the snow. Uh... Okay, if I can get a shouty for Twin XT, that would be awesome. Thank you, Sonny. Um, this is our... We have a channel point redeem where if you get 50,000 points, you can pick our indie game. And this is a game... Uh, that's what this is. It's a game uh, one of our community members picked. The tapestry is in a miserable condition, like everything here. The colors are faded and... Hey... There's even a loose thread. The tapestry seems to be magic. At first, the thread was very short, but now uh, it's at least four paces. So we're long. getting a magic I'll rip it off thread now. Me. You can never have enough magic thread. Okay. Lever. No idea what it does. So we got some magic thread. Doing good. Just trying to figure out what we're supposed to be doing in this game. We just started it. This is our second, our second uh, session. Okay, so we don't know what that does. When I first arrived at the school a few days ago, I got a real fright when I first saw it. I mean, I knew about armor from books, but yeah. can you imagine that there's a real person inside? And has been for decades. Ew. That's silly. Whoever's in the armor would have died a long time ago. Unless Gross. It's a ghost. I think it's in there. We carried loads of rubbish out of the school. I guess we must have overseen those. I'll take them with me. Done is done. Man, he's getting a lot of stuff in his inventory, considering we have no task. I'd love to know what's on the upper floors, but it's far too dangerous. Far too the magic dangerous. The building has been left on its own for two decades as magic seeping through the walls. Could be lethal. Oh, we played Machinarium on here. I love that game. And I have the sequel, Creeks, but we haven't played that one yet. It's on my list. How did you like it, Machinarium? Did you enjoy it? I thought it was so cool. Not in the best condition, but at least there's a public made school in Seastone. Yeah, it was awesome. And now we will have you played Creeks? Building, and I will help train a new generation of mages. We will yeah, same. Classrooms. 
We will tidy the hall. We will tidy the stairwells. We will never surrender. Yeah, I have it. One of these days we'll play it. A lever. No idea what it does. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to flip the lever till we... When you summon creatures, I've read that you don't really... Right, I guess we're done with the kobold Just talking about him. Else. I don't know where the kobolds came from, but they don't give me the impression they want to go back there soon. Have you played those far games, far changing tides and far loan sales? That's another ones that have a really beautiful art style. Yeah. <laughs> Whoop, what is that? Oh, there's a, there's a new room, a staff room. Sweet. All right, so we can go in the staff room. Oh, here's a piece of paper. I wonder if this is another this? bit of our folio that we're missing. Another book page. Nice. Take it with me. All right. Well, I don't want to leave the school yet. Let's go in the staff room. Oh, look at the dirty yeah, floor. The school's not in the best condition. The worst of the rubbish has been disposed of. But it will still take weeks before well, I hope that's going to happen, that as we play, the school's going to get cleaner and cleaner. Oh, this isn't dust and dirt. It's like the funk of 40,000 years. Because it's, it's kind of distracting off. me. It's so As horrible right now. <laughs> Even though no one's been here for 20 years. Or at least as far as I know. Uh, the school's not in the best condition. Okay. The worst of the rubbish has been disposed of. But it will still take weeks before everything is clean and tidy. Since he's the only staff, I guess the staff room is, like, his private domain. It's much nicer than his bedroom. He ought to just live in here. Oh, wait, who is this guy? Oh, called. this must be the headmaster. Okay. Ah, Professor Weathervey. There you are at last. I have some tasks for you. Oh, thank goodness. We need some tasks. I look forward to us working together. I'll be frank, Professor Weathervey. You have a mage diploma, but have not completed the tests required in order to work as a teacher. Mm. Attested credentials, a written application, nothing. You are only here on the Archmage's well, We didn't do our paperwork, evidently. That's right. But there's currently a shortage of mages, and everyone must do their best. Do their best is well and good. But it does not replace the formal and mandatory training for teachers of higher Mandatory? Magic. Here in the U.S., we would say mandatory. But the Archmage Alistair trusts me to teach here at the school. Well, yes. Mages have a well-known penchant for chaos. <laughs> I'm still trying to get an overview. The records management in this school defies description. Council Leader Van Buren wants to reorganize this educational institution and finally bring I'm kind of thinking that's not such a bad idea. Correct management of the teaching records he must is once strict. again become the teaching staff's primary task. That is oh, well, that's not the primary task. Good morning, silly. How are you? Doing great. Well, I guess it's afternoon for you. Uh-oh, tired. What have you been up to? I may have no formal training as a teacher, but I managed to thrill have you my played students this game in before? the first hour. I performed a spell. And you could really see the way they caught fire. Not literally, of course. It wasn't a fire spell or anything of that sort. <laughs> you performed a spell? Yes. And now they want to learn to do the same. They want to learn. According to my records, history of magic was on the syllabus. Yes, but... <laughs> Professor Weathervane, Crucial to our success in teaching is that we provide students with a stable, reliable yeah, me neither. framework and adhere <laughs> to the curriculum. I, I, exactly. Neither. I'd never heard of it before either. Yes, but the students... And evidently there was a first you one. you proper training, you would have known that. I will note this failure in your file. Uh -huh. And in the future, you will stick to the curriculum, dear colleague. You, you, you mentioned tasks earlier, Headmaster? Yes. You have two tasks. Two tasks. As you know, the Archmage is coming early tomorrow to officially inaugurate the school. 
Can we clean up the school? political and business <laughs> personages will be attending. And as you can assumedly see, the school is Oh, not yay. Maybe that is what we're going to do. Maybe we're going to get the kobolds Council to help us. Van Buren has hired a caretaker, but he cannot do the work alone. Your tasks are to help him clean the floor in the entrance hall and remove the cobwebs by tomorrow. Okay, that'll make me happy. You want me to sweep the hall and get rid of the cobwebs? Is that really my job as a teacher? Yes, indeed. A school is a team endeavor, so that means you have to do what I tell you. Ha! <laughs> if, if you told me to get rid of the flying cobwebs, that I would have understood. What did you say? Flying cobwebs? Uh, they're going to be like the sparrows in uh, Cinderella. They'll clean the, the place, they'll they clean the, uh, see to it, Weathervane. Clean the school. Floor, cobwebs, flying cobolds, fix them. Huh. And apart from cleaning, what else is there to do? The inventory has revealed that a number of items of school property have gone missing. Among other things, the school library. Uh-oh. The whole library has gone missing. That is correct. That I seems asked bad. the Archmage about the matter, and he confirmed to me that the room was there before. <laughs> he does not know where it is now. He said something about its being in hiding, perhaps, or away traveling. Hmm. I think it's unseemly. I want that room. We are a school, and we need a library. Agreed. But where should I start looking? That I cannot tell you. You are the mage. You support the council leader in the election, right? Indeed I do. We need to build up an extensive bureaucracy and boost the economy. An as extensive as bureaucracy, because to that me, is the generally the answer to all of our problems. Choice than a mage. But do not worry, Weathervane. I don't blame you for your political naivete. As a school headmaster, I am neutral and always act according to school rules. Okay. And of course, political influence in schools is prohibited. Tell that to Council Leader Van Buren. What's that? Oh, it's one of the campaign brochures <laughs> the Council Leader put in my classroom. Hmm. I'll, um, I'll take care of it. You ask a lot. Uh, I, 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 I don't know if I can get all this done by tomorrow morning. By tomorrow morning? You have until 72 o'clock. 72 o'clock? 72 o'clock. I what? have developed my own efficient metric system of measuring time. A day has 100 hours, consisting of 100 minutes, with 100 seconds each. Mm. Everything else is too confusing. Well, that's pretty so, confusing. Um, I don't even have until tomorrow morning. For a properly qualified teacher, even the impossible poses no problem. So we have or that repetition I note in your spell. File that you do not feel up to the tasks assigned you. No, I'll oh, I'll do it. Very good. And then you can call it a day and prepare tomorrow's lessons. I don't think One we're going to make clear. it to the bar it with the rat. Wants me to fail, but I won't disappoint the archmage. And secondly, I like this school, and a school library would be great for the students. This room's all nice and tidy. Third, the work the headmaster has given me is the perfect opportunity to keep my eyes open for Remy. Okay. So we have that repetition spell. I'm assuming that's going to help us clean. Uh, is there in-game time? Uh, I don't know yet. Oh, look at this thing. Dude, what the heck are you doing? Oh, oh that maybe that's the cleaner. Not only are there a lot of them, they're much too high for me. How am I supposed to get up there to remove the cobwebs? I'm not good with heights. Like most gnomes, I get nervous when the soil is. How about a broom with a long way. handle? How am I supposed to get up there to remove the cobwebs? I'm not good with heights. Like most gnomes, I get nervous when the soil is further than one gnome away. Whoa, the new caretaker troll. Yeah, why don't you get the cobwebs? You're kind of tall, or heft me up there. Hello. Um, hello. I guess he doesn't have a lot I'm, to say. I'm Wilbur Weathervane. Pro Professor Wilbur Weathervane. 
I, 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 I teach, so I, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> He's not really a chatty fellow, is he? We could work together to accomplish much more for the school. Come on, I demand that you talk to me. It looks like you're cleaning the hall. Well, now and then, a little. Yep, it's my job. I'm a janitor. What of it? Well, you're not very good at it. You've been a caretaker for long? What exactly are your duties? To caretake? I run the place. Oh. Nothing here works without me. Just no one notices, that's all. I see. But don't the teachers and the school administration, etc., have a small share in the success of the school, right? <laughs> what success? You had a look round this dump. Disgusting. All dirty and run Can't down. Can't argue with him there. Yes, it's quite dirty here, in fact. But isn't it your job to do something about it? What do you think I'm doing? Ah, could take a while until you're done cleaning up the mess, right? Yeah, if you say so, Mr. I bet Council Leader Van Buren got you the job here. Of course. She wanted the best. Oh, great. Mm. I think she'd be perfectly happy if no progress was ever made here at the school. Know what your problem is? You're a windbag. Bert <laughs> thinks so too. Bert? Bert? Buddy of mine, he thinks you're a windbag too. Well, how does he know me? I haven't but even met him yet. I don't even know Bert. Even we just met. <laughs> so you're saying I'm lying? That's exactly what Bert, me, and the others hate about you. Wow. There Ouch, is no man. Bert. And who are the you others? You really live in your own little world. <laughs> hmm. Headmaster Block has ordered you and I to clean the hall and free it of cobwebs. Already on it. Um. Well, can I just yeah, leave it with you? But it doesn't seem to be progressing. Oh, you could, of course, do it better. Not that. Only maybe, maybe you could use some help. Do you have any other cleaning supplies? A broom, dustpan? Sure, got it all. But I ain't giving you none. Get her Good out. morning, Dragon Spun. How are you this morning? I'm nice to you see you. you How's your week going? Oh, boo -hoo. Look, you were told to clean the entrance hall. I was told to clean the entrance hall. If we work together, Good. it will be faster for both of us. Doing great. Don't you get it? Sure. Trying Professor to get my uh, head around this the game. The rest of us are idiots. I never said that, but it is a fact. Don't know about anything. Ouch. Want to play the big man here, huh? Uh oh. It is quite obvious that. No one else is allowed an opinion. <laughs> I had that here before, you know, rotten fascist. Oh, he's a lo I, wait. What? Uh, I don't want so to So he fight used to work you. here? Your parents are siblings. Yeah, all three of them. What? <laughs> Come on, seriously. I could really use your help. Please. Can't cope with your life, huh? And now you want me to fix it for you. This guy's That's a little cool. argumentative, isn't he? You've never helped me. We, we, we don't even know each other. <laughs> oh, I'm a fine gentleman. Considers himself something better now, and suddenly doesn't know us anymore. <laughs> I'm slowly beginning to believe you actually find it funny to wind yeah, up. Yeah, I think that may be what's happening. Me I'm so cool. well, well, could I'm you sure just don't. clean? Yes, they do. People say that I'm arrogant. But how should they know? I can give them time of day. And you know what beats everything? <laughs> no? A hammer. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, so there you go. It could always be worse. Your friend could be this troll here. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye open for a friend. So please let me know if anything unusual happens in the school. <clears throat> well, you know, if, for example, someone's wandering around the school who has no business here, or if things disappear, or, you know, things like that. There was a penny stuck in the door. You what? There was a penny stuck in the door. Wouldn't open. 
Ah, that's probably not important. Did you put the penny in there? Me? Uh, no. If I find a coin in there, what? I'm taking you down. What? <laughs> it was nice talking to you. I really don't understand why so many people don't want to talk to trolls. Oh, I'm so getting a no. glimmer of why that we might don't be. Don't speak our minds. And I think that's wrong. That's why I let you. Uh, yeah, they even down oh. Oh. Who made okay. you sheriff here? This school is Thank going you, down here. It has been for a long time. Ever I'll have to you, figure that uh, out. Came here, there's been nothing but stress. Let me, uh, I'll uh, whisper it to you. How about that? A minute. And thank Isn't you. That's awesome. Day? Didn't used to be that way. But now everything has to be politically correct. Or you get silenced immediately. Yeah, well, well goodbye. I just whispered it to you, Guckrat. Okay, are we done talking to this troll? Oh, hello. <laughs> ah, why have you always got to be in my face? I thought this troll was going to help us. Headmaster Block wants to get rid of the cobbles. He didn't tell me. But he did tell me, and I want you to help me. We haven't cleaned yet. Want whatever you want. Why are you like that? Like what? So unfriendly, destructive, and, and such an ass. <laughs> <It's always wrong. laughs> morning, Diesel. How are you this morning? Good to see you. Somebody, can I get a shouty for Diesel, please? I know why you don't want to help. You can't. Ooh, now we're going to wind him up instead. Oh, I can do it. Ah. Thank you. Have to prove anything to you. Little Mark Twain situation happening uh, here. Never mind. I like the cobbles. To be honest, I'm actually even proud of them. Yeah, I've seen better. Yeah, however, it would make me really angry if someone scared the cobbles off. Huh? You talking to me? Hmm. <laughs> can't go on like this. Is that all you want? Just to be a right pain in the ass all you like? Someone who just Look the oh! He just splatted the cobalt. Gross. No, 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 no. <laughs> what is it? Finally notice your own stupidity. You. Well, he got one of them. Want to apologize? Ha! <laughs> Loser. That was a waste. <laughs> this is an. No, he got one of them. That seemed good. It's like an inexplicable conversation here. Uh, I don't have anything to talk to him about. So that's good. Yeah, we're all relieved about that, except we didn't get any... Well, we got one cobalt killed off, so I think that's good. How can I ever get the wall cleaned up? And by, um, 72 o'clock? Well, we've got the repetitive spell. Wow, this isn't dust and dirt. It's like the <laughs> funk of 40,000 years. It's rock art. As if thousands of feet have trampled it into the floor. Even though no one's been here for 20 years. At least as far as I know. All right, let's look at our backpack and see what we have. We have... We've got that really long string. Uh, hmm. Nothing seems sort of like broomish. Let's try our spell. Doesn't seem to want to let us put it down. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Can we use it to make him work faster? Probably. But I don't, I don't think know. I should do it. Using magic to compel living creatures to do something against their will. Ugh. I didn't become a maze to do things like that. don't have anything to talk okay, to about. Okay, so, so that's good. that didn't help. I was hoping that might do it. I didn't think it would, but I was hoping it might. We don't have a broom. Or maybe we can get this thing to animate. This, this uh, knight guy here. Can we get this guy moving along? 
Wait, let's look at our get our spell again and see if we can cast it on the suit of armor. Guess not. I guess we're not ready for the spell yet. Okay. How am I supposed to get up there to remove the cobwebs? I'm not good with heights. Like most gnomes, I get nervous when the soil is further than one gnome away. How about the string? It's long. No. Okay. Okay, guess not that. What else have we? Fair. Oh, that's to get more cobalts. Isn't that the spell we used to conjure them up in the first place? It's good it's only letting us prompt when it's uh, something we can use, so at least we can check it out and see. I can't remember what that spell is, actually. Okay, what else do we have? Sharp fish bones. Can we cast a spell on the dirty floor? Enchant the cobwebs. Nice. Nothing. Oh, Probably dang it. Man, nothing in our bag of tricks is helping us. Okay, is there anything we can put together? Like maybe our thread and our wand. Combine the thread with the bone. Oh, hmm. That might be good. Let's try those two things. Oh, well that's not going to help us. Oh, and then we'll do that to bind the pages. And I can even sew. Mum showed me while Dad was teaching Sydney how to weld. Okay. We don't have all the pages, though. But let's see if we can sew the book together. I could sew the pages into a choir later. Oh, okay. Found all of them. A choir. All right, cool. So at least we made a needle and thread. That seems progress of a sort. What if we take the spell and we apply it to the wand? No. <laughs> Whoops. What happened to our automation spell? Oh, there it is. All right. Why work when you can do magic and the automation spell. Exactly. All right, let's see if there's anything else we can put it on except the troll. I guess we can go back here. Well, we're not making any progress at all. Can I have your broom, troll? At least I could use it. Uh, I don't have anything to talk to him about, so that's good. How can I ever get the hall cleaned up? And by, um, 72 o'clock? Okay, well, let's see. The door to the magic school actually consists of several doors. One for the large creatures, such as trolls. One for humans and elves and the like. And then there's one for gnomes and dwarves, and one for even smaller beings. That is supposed to symbolize that everyone is welcome in the school. But in reality, graduate majors are almost exclusively human. Hmm. I'm the first non-human to graduate that seems in many discriminating. Years. Guess that's why my door hinges squeak. I can't leave until I've completed the three tasks and informed the headmaster. Okay, so that's not going to help us. I don't want to down. I can't leave until I've completed the three okay. tasks and informed the headmaster. I don't want to let the archmage down. So we can't go out the door. We can't talk to the troll. How am I supposed to get up there to remove the cobwebs? I'm not good with heights. 
I want to talk like to this gnomes, I get nervous when suit of armor again. All right, what else have we? Let's pull the lever again. See if that changed anything. Oh, now we can't walk away. Oh, there we go. See if there's anything in the classroom we can use. Hey, plant, you're kind of tall. Could you get the cobwebs down for us? So we can I make some. Do that too often. The room could fill <laughs> up with gas. We can make some stinky gas smart, with that plant. We'd have the same result as the devastating spring explosion in Gnome Hole. That was the time the granddad lived on nothing but beans for two weeks while we were visiting relatives in Nomagan. Nomagan. Luckily, that stinky cloud of gas is short-lived and quickly vanishes. I wonder if we can use that to get rid of the kobolds. Come on, keep going. Now oh, he's stuck. Oh, there he goes. Walk around. I need a broom is what I need. According to the register, this is supposed to be a fire maker. But nowadays, we just buy matches. But in Allardyce's time, I guess mages still play hardball defending their firelight in Monopoly. Okay. Thank you so much, Gokrat. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. That that tells me I need to uh, make a different email address for that particular the the buy me a game uh, thing. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. I just started that. You know, people have these uh, like wish lists and whatnot, and I don't have anything that I <laughs> that I need. <laughs> this is basically the setup as it's going to be. So <laughs> I thought that might be a good way if people wanted to help us that they could. That that's my only expense is uh, buying games. Oh, look at what package! Did I get a package? What's this? A gift? Oh, nice. Is it a broom? By any chance? For Wilbur, a. Wow, that's what is it? Yeah, what Wonder is it? Magic slate. Oh, thank you, Sunny. It's kind of a specific thing, the the buying the gift card. Uh, I do have a whole yeah. Anyway, a talking slate. I can speak, write, draw, calculate, sing. Write poetry and vibrate and answer almost any question. Okay, how can I clean up this wow. school? How can I get a broom? <laughs> you look like you're pretty expensive. Thank you. And you're a gift. You're mine now. Hey, old kid, how are you doing? Welcome in. Greetings, can I get a shouty for old kid, please? You guys, old kid was playing Starfield like. I don't know for what, 14 hours yesterday, old kid or something? Maybe Alistair, the Archmage. Mordred, Vivian, Leslie, Alistair, Archmage of Seastone. Doing good. I thought I might need some help. I'm nice of him. Vivian. <laughs> old kid generally streams really long streams. I don't know how you do it. Can you be used to play games which appear to be free at first glance, but in the long term empty your pocket? And yeah, don't put the at in if you're doing shouties, uh, Sonny. Just you have to type it out, or you can do the backspace shout out one. Such as games. Too bad. Hmm, I bet you're really useful. Insufficient parameters. So let me get this straight. I can write on you. Click on games, one and you'll see and it. They don't. They don't do you know work. Spells? No. Uh, can you give me any tips on how I can do my tasks? Unless it's about recipes, probably not. Ah, I like you anyway. Like, okay, if, um, wait, what? Yeah, over and out. Yeah, I would really like to play that game. All right, so that was it for the, uh, that was it for the... I'm I'm sorry, actually, Sonny. I should have told you that at back at the very beginning when 
when uh, you first started modding for me. It's kind of a pain because you, yeah, it's so much easier if you can use the at so you don't have to type the names out, some of which can be kind of long. Oh, Git, though, his name is pretty short, so it's easy. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things. Yeah, let's look at the cobalt. Oh, look, he's landed. Oi, stop that. He kissed a picture of the princess. Hmm, Probably interesting. Probably better if I put the book in a safe place. <laughs> oh, now we got... Oh, finally we got to pick up the book of the fairy tales. Okay, I don't want to look at this table again and hear that whole thing about Timmy and Chanel. He was crazy about the book of fairy tales. Well, rather, the picture of the princess is in it. That's just not right. What are you implying there, Wilbur? He was crazy about the book of fairy tales. Besides, we're supposed to be getting rid of these kobolds. The in it. That's just not right. Got a break coming up in like... Uh... Oh, that's a good idea, Zahn. That's a very good tip. You heard it there first. Uh... Can we spray some stink at him? He's kind of low now. My nose. That gas smells like, like, well, you know, gas. All right, let's see what happens. Does it stink up the cobalt? Luckily, that stinky cloud of gas is short. That didn't and help us. Vanishes. All right, let's look in our bag again. Now we got to do something with that cobalt. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's another good idea. There you go, Sonny. All sorts of tips you're getting there. Maybe we can put... We can put the stink on the book. Yeah, those are good tips. Wait, I want to use the book to get the cobalt. And then put some gas on it <laughs> so we can get the cobalt. Wait, use the book to lure the cobalt into a trap. Do I have a trap yet? Uh, maybe I can lure him into a trap. What would the trap be? Oh, okay. Hey, look, that book. Then he'll be in that girl's desk, though. Ah, and then when she opens it, know. he'll come out. Well, sort of. Locked up in a dark <laughs> place with a book of fairy tales. Ew. Hmm. Time to negotiate. Hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> I've got nothing against you, but you have to leave the school. It's I too thought we were going to use the kobolds to clean up for us. Kind of like the sparrows in Cinderella. I'm going to slowly open the desktop now. And you're going to come out peacefully. And you really think that's going to work, Wilbur? Right then. Ah! Ow! Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that. I should probably make the best of this. I'll just keep him in the pencil case where it's safe. Oh, 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 I think he's woken up. And he's looking for trouble. All right, now we've got the cobalt. I'm guess I, that's, I'm I'm pretty set on the idea of using him to clean up, putting the spell on him, and and then using him to clean, get the cobwebs or something. Anything else we can do in here? So we got the fire started. It doesn't work, and we have the uh, f gas, which potentially might be flammable. So maybe we could just burn the place down. Is there anything else in our room we can deal with? Okay, Sonny, we will be here. We're well, we're going to take a break here in just a mini, but let's see. Master Marcus told me everything I need to know. Hold your head high, inspire your students, and don't let things get you down. I just wish I wasn't entirely on my own. Use the magic ball. Well, I don't think we can use it. 
Master Marcus told me yeah. everything I need to know. Hold your head high. Inspire your students. And we must be going to have to use it for something. We just haven't just uh, got the sequence yet, or it would stop telling us about it. All right, the, the sheep rabbit, the rabbit sheep, I think we must be done with. We don't have too much else we can use in here. Oh, that's it. So the magic ball is going to come in for something later. Hey, Shelby, how are you? Suki or Zon, when are you guys? Can I get a shouty for Shelby? You guys, Shelby is an Aussie streamer who plays Overwatch. Just got her affiliate, and she's awesome. All right, so that we're going to need the plant for something. At least we finally can stop talking to the desk. Thank you. All right, let's go back out in the uh, hallway and see if we can get the cobalt to clean up the cobwebs. All right, so let's put the, I say we put the automation spell on the cobalt. Oh, it won't let us do that. Dang it. I was sure that was the right answer. I wonder if Friedlin still likes pet food. I should buy a new package and see. Maybe we just get the cobalt out and send him up to the... Oh, come on. That's such a good answer. I guess we're not ready to use him. Sick the cobalt on the troll. How would that help us? <laughs> Absolutely not. He pounded the other cobalt to mush. I don't want anything bad to happen to my little wing friend. Okay. Uh, uh, looks like the ads just started to roll. You guys, we're going to take another quick break. This will be our last break of the stream. And I'll be right back. I need to get a refreshed beverage, and maybe you guys can do the same. Be right back.
and we're back. All right, let's uh, let's just run through our stuff, I guess. Oh, good. Thank you. I saw your message. I appreciate it. Thank you, Dragon Spun. I'll check that out. All right, let's look at our slate. Whoops. The Maybe. Moment, I have no questions. Oh, I have questions. Can we use them? We're just going to run through all our stuff and see what it'll let us use it on. We haven't figured out what that lever changed. Okay. Can we put a spell on the dirt? I think we tried to put a spell on the cobwebs. That didn't work, did it? Nothing. Probably hit a hole. Can we put a spell on the janitor to make him actually do his job? Hit a hole. I wonder if that's a clue. Like, can we use the boards to fix the hole, even though I think it's a magical hole? <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, wait. Is there another lever? Are there two levers here? I mean, I can see that there's two, but I'm not sure we can, can we turn, wait. <laughs> the hitbox in this game is so weird. Come on, use it. Oh, yeah, I think, I don't know. I kind of feel like he's just doing one. It looks like there's two, but. Come on, walk away. What else can we do? Can we go in the staff room? Is there anything else in here we can use? Oh, here's some stuff. Oh, okay. How pretty. A swan folded from a piece of paper. This is origami, an ancient elf art form. The dwarven word for this art form means something like Pointy ears build dust catches out of Welcome back, and thank you. I saw your message about the DM. I will check that out. I appreciate it. Hey, this isn't just some sheet of paper. It's, <gasps> it's another book page. Yay. It is another book page. I'll take it with me. Of course, that makes no progress on the, what we're supposed to be accomplishing, but at least it's something. What else do we have in this room? Other than the headmaster, who's kind of a grouchy dude. It'd be so hard to just have a broom. Yay, broom! Can I have that? <laughs> broom ball originally went by a different name. It was played on broomsticks using six winged balls. Like Quidditch, perhaps? Complications. That's why today resembles nothing more than soccer. Thank you. Player has a broom strapped to the back. Could I? Should I miss you? Yay! Sweep out the entrance. Yes, please. Broom That's all we broom, needed right? was a broom. Hmm, unfortunately, I can't open the display. Case. Oh! It's locked. Oh, I've got that sharp fish bone. We could pick the lot. Oh, I made it. I turned it into a needle. Dang it! Oh, can I turn it into, I guess not. <laughs> oh, come on. Can I unlock it with my, uh, this? Bummer. The display case can't be opened like that. It's locked. All right, well, perhaps we're at least making some progress. This must be the best clock in the world. Most only have two or three hands. This one has at least ten. I don't really know what the clock wants to tell me, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't just show the time. Okay. There's so much to discover. I wish I could stay here forever. <laughs> what an impressive fireplace. 
If it were lit, it would be warm in here in no time. We do have that fire starter machine. What is what an impressive fireplace. If it were lit, it would be warm in here in no time. Oh, maybe we throw the lever and come back in and see if anything's changed. Alright, what's back here? Come on. I'm telling you, the hitbox in this game is so clunky. Okay, it's now we got the diagram. Travel mm, fast travel, maybe. Dots connected by lines. Above each of the dots is a name. Sea stone, mage tower, entrance hall, coaching in, fox's den, wow. and many more. Three animal symbols are located beneath each of the dots. I've heard about this. Wizards use a powder to travel through the fire in one fireplace to the fire in another. Of course, this doesn't just work with any fireplace. It must be on the fireplace travel network. And this plan shows which fireplaces are connected to okay. which. Okay, that's going to be our fast travel for the game, I'm presuming. All right, what's the thing down on the floor? Bellows. A nice pair of bellows. They really get a fire going. When my family wanted to forge something at home, I was in charge of the bellows. Can I forge a key? You are the most important gnome in this matter, they often used to say to me. So I'm just going to steal the bellows. Okay. What an impressive fireplace. It's sort of Harry Potter adjacent, I feel. <laughs> There's quite a quite a few parallels, not going to lie. Wait, look at the diagram. One of the dots is circled in black ink. Sea stone, mage school, staff room. Okay. This yeah, we can't go anywhere because we haven't been anywhere. Away from the... oh, there seems to be two other fireplaces here in the building Ooh, itself. Nice. Sea stone, mage school, astronomer con, and hey, sea stone, mage school. Oh, library. yay. Maybe this we can find the library. The library fireplace. We might be able Forget to this cleaning business. There. Can we do that now? The fireplace here in the staff room is connected to the fireplace in the missing library. The library is represented by the symbols owl, worm, and rat. Owl, worm, and, and rat. Fire, fireplace travel powder and a little luck. This could be my way into the library. What? Fireplace travel powder? Together with some fireplace travel powder, this fireplace could be my ticket to the library. All right. I, should I misuse the broom on display to sweep up the entrance hall? I mean, a broom is a broom, right? Hmm, unfortunately, I can't hmm. open the display case. It's locked, and I don't have a key. Dang, I was so sure it was going to be that sharp bone. I guess the headmaster doesn't notice that we're rummaging around down here. We'll go up and talk to him again in a minute. Okay, Silly, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. Let's see if he'll talk to us. I have a feeling he's just going to tell us to do our jobs. But, oh, we can search the file cabinet. That's new. Uh, yeah, whatever. We don't know what we're looking for. Uh, Allardyce, we know him. Allardyce. Hey, Lucy. Albert. How are you this morning or this afternoon? Can I get a shouty for Lucy, please? Proper interjections and questions. What's this? Do we know anyone else? Is this the troll? Troll. Bernison of High Wind Lake managed to collapse the south wing of the school by sneezing. I don't want to read all the files, particularly. I feel like, uh, thank you, Sunny. And Suki. Oh, you're playing Detroit Become Human. Oh, that was such an intense game. I, uh, I really liked that game and I wanted to play it again. I just haven't gotten back to it, but, uh, how do you like it, Lucy? No, no, I want to move back to it. I want to get to another letter. I don't know if it's going to help us any, so at least, I guess... As we learn people's names, we're, we'll come here and look them up. Yeah, it's a, such a good game. 
I didn't play that one on stream. I think it might be a good one to play sometime again on stream <clears throat> and play differently. I don't usually replay games, but that game, you know, I think if you made different choices could have such a different, it would be just a completely different game. <clears throat> I'm just looking at the different letters to see if there's anything like uh, K for key. <laughs> huh. This game, this is a, uh, was one of our channel point redeem games. Suki redeemed this game because uh, Sazzy Roo wanted us to play it, and so that's it. I'm not really sure quite what it, what's happening in it yet. We're really just getting going. Excuse me, Headmaster Block. Do you have a key for that cabinet? Yes. <laughs> I met the caretaker, troll. I know what you want to say. I'm not enthusiastic about it myself. Hey, Sazzy, here you go. Here's your game. <laughs> but what can I do? They have a strangle. Still at it. We must with it. Still, we were able to negotiate a good contract. What do you mean? Well, we're, 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 we're it's kind of slow starting. The is not allowed to speak with any school employee or student unless explicitly requested. So I think once we get rolling, yeah. Thank you, Sonny. Uh, about those tasks. Yes. Oh, here, this is what we need. Cleaning if supplies. If I have to clean the hall, is there anything I can use to do it with? The caretaker troll was supplied accordingly. Ask well, he won't him. tell us. He's not very he nice. He doesn't want to give me anything. You are a professor. He is a janitor. Assert yourself. Wow, rude. But probably right, actually. The cobwebs in the hall are a long way up. And? I'm pretty you sure. You may not have noticed, but I'm a rather average-sized gnome. That is no excuse. Get to work. Wow. Can't one or two of the cobwebs just stay here in the school? After all, they are magical creatures, and students could examine them and take them for walks. Rioting cobwebs in my school? <laughs> I'll have none of it. They have to go. Ah, oh, shame that. I thought we'd gotten them all already. Um, what I wanted to... Hmm? Why do so many of the notes on your desk have a small hole in the middle? For the spike. That's airmail. You spike the message oh. on the beak of a homing pigeon. Wow. Not an optimal method. First one obviously has a hole in the paper, and secondly, the pigeons are constantly flying into clips. Yeah, that seems like a bad uh, idea. I think it... I, I think there's a simpler solution. And that would be... You could simply write the letters directly onto the pigeons themselves. <laughs> as long as the pigeons are white, right, That doesn't seem like a better be solution. Hmm, not a bad idea at all. But it would make the archiving more difficult. Records seem to be very important to you. Well, we got Order something for that. Important. Records are a tool to that end. I have a loose leaf binder for spells. Hmm, commendable. Maybe you can do something with this then. There is no room for a spell in my files. Archive it. Mr. Ooh, we got a new spell. Nice. What else do we have to say? Uh, about those tasks. Yes. About the fireplace map over there. Yes. It shows several fireplaces in the school. Of course. Large and important buildings can have more than just one access to the fireplace travel fireplace network. Fireplace travel network. One of them seems to be in the missing library. Hmm. Good thinking, Weathervane. Get to the bottom of it. Thank you. I'm already on it. But even if the fireplace was still reachable, don't you need a special magic powder to use the network? <laughs> you need some extremely rare and valuable fireplace travel powder. Only high-ranking civil servants receive small amounts. Well, I need some of it. 
Oh, yay! Forget cleaning, maybe we can go well, to the again, library. Aren't you listening? Only high ranking civil servants get some for personal. Wait a minute, use. give it to us. But I thought I was supposed to find the missing library. Of course, but without wasting my fireplace travel powder, thank you very much. Hmm. Okay. I don't know how to get into the missing library without your fireplace travel powder. That's your problem. I assign tasks you This guy's kind of harsh. Or at least try. Oh, nothing. Hmm? So, I'll get back to work then. Be my guest. Can we just steal his fireplace travel powder? Oops, wait, what was that? Oh, the file cabinet? Yeah, let's use that on this dude. Exactly. All right. Let's see what our new spell is. It's got so much stuff. Why can't we use any of it? Look at the spell. spell. Someone has written a note in the margin. Headmaster Pinkerton, the spell is currently circulating throughout the school. It opens Ooh. tabs, locks, loops, and the like. How about By doors? Now, there is hardly a student or teacher in this school who still has their pants around their waists and not their ankles. We need to stop this immediately. <laughs> it seems magic isn't always limited hmm. to serious things. Can I use it to open this door? I don't think that'll work. The spell opens loops, Shoot. Locks, hooks, and eyes, things like that. That's I pretty try. specific. A pantsing smell spell. <laughs> oh, I don't have that spell. It's like traps within traps in here. All right, what else did we get? I don't know where that goes. Not here, clearly. Could I? Should I oh. use the broom on display to sweep out the entrance hall? I mean, broom is a broom, right? Okay. Hmm, unfortunately, I can't open the display case. But that gave us something else, so I let's go back at in our places where we know and see if there's any new stuff we can pick up. Loops and whatnot. Let's see if we can get our new spell out here. Oh, I wanted to pants the troll, man. So we could take his broom. He's clearly not using it. Alright, that didn't work. What else is new? Wait, what is this thing? Practical bellows. I wonder if we can use that to blow the dust away. Or blow the cobwebs. Seems like that ought to work. We're not much for simple solutions in this game. I know I like the troll, he's kind of funny. Alright, well so far nothing we've gotten is helping us with the problem at hand. For opening tabs, not no, no, I'm like. trying to go back, I don't want to read it again. Okay, let's talk to the troll again. Oh, hello. I know, right? Ah, why have you always got to be in my face? Well, dude, could you help? Headmaster Block has ordered you to give me some of the cleaning supplies. Right. <laughs> so, you, you're doing it? Of course. Then, give them to me. How oh, sure. You're making fun of me, right? No. <laughs> ah, no matter what I do, you're not going to give me anything to use to tidy up, right? Of course I will. Uh, this troll is ah, funny and annoying at the same myself. time. Yeah, where's the janitor's closet? Can we just go in there and rifle around? Ew! Blah. Yeah, good one, Olgit. He is trolling me. Freaking troll! To remove the cobwebs. I'm not good with heights. Like most gnomes, I get nervous when the soil is further than one gnome away. All right, let's go back in our classroom, I guess. 
Anything going on in here? Clearly this plant is going to be used for something at some point. Still all stinky. I shouldn't do that too often. The room could fill up with gas. Mm. One spark and we'd have the same result as the devastating spring explosion in Gnome Hole. That was the time the granddad lived on nothing but beans for two weeks while we were visiting relatives in So Northern. Nothing over here anymore. So we got the gas cloud and we got the fire machine, but come on, you're stuck. But I think that's for not for what what's happening right now as far as I can tell. I wonder... Okay, twin! Hmm, maybe that the doesn't fire work. Maybe the firemaker used to work once. It certainly doesn't right now. Alright, let's go back in our room. Gosh dang it! Master Marcus told me everything I need to know. So we don't get to have that yet. I think that's the only thing we have that we haven't, that we have a future use for in here. So no key. That's the only thing we have left is the magic ball. All right, so that didn't help us. And then we got the plant in here. Let's try out some of our stuff, I guess. I mean, I'm assuming we're going to get the broom and then put the automation spell on it, so... Since we can't put it on the cobalt... We don't know what this drawing is, do we? I don't think it's going to help us here, though. All right. Dang it. I really literally have no idea what we're supposed to do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's try the design drawing with the fire maker. Because did we get that out of... Um, did we get that out of... Allardyce's file. Let's see. Oh man, I thought I had something there. Shoot. All right. So, gas and a fire maker in this room. Our magic ball in our room. We need a key. Now I may have to look this one up, you guys. Uh, oh, we got one cobalt flying around up there. Powder, magic powder. We got a lot of dirt everywhere. Would that work? <laughs> Fireplace powder. Oh, I wonder if we can ask the um, slate about the powder. At the moment, I have no questions. I have lots of questions. I don't think we have all the pages yet for our book. Can he help us? We tried that already. Absolutely not. He pounded the other <laughs> cobalt mush. I don't want anything bad to happen to my little wing friend. Oh, I'm out of ideas, you guys. I don't think we can leave until the jobs are done. The three tasks and inform the headmaster. I, I do have, have the cobalt, um, Sazzy. What should I use it on? Oh, on the headmaster. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Thank you. A 
Let's try that. Ha! <laughs> Time for a little distraction. So we can get the fireplace powder. Attention. I really just want to get the broom, honestly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that would be the next. Ah! Ah! Go away! Oh! -ho -ho. Did you All see right. that weather vane? The insolence! The insolence! Unbelievable! The things one must. So I guess that together. takes care of that one. Appalling, headmaster. So I guess we're going to do the library before we clean up the, uh, before we clean up. Maybe the key will be in the library. Uh, no, I've never even heard of that. Uh, okay, how do we do this? Let's see. Oh, wait, what is this thing over here? Firewood. Firewood. Okay. More than enough to make a decent And I have fire. the bellows. Use the firewood with the, whoops, bellows. Bellows. Oh, use the, the slate? I have no, question. no, wait. Archmage Alistair's magic slate. I like it. It looks important. It's got <laughs> lovely rounded corners, which of course makes the design unique for pattern purposes, I guess. Oh, there's the powder. Okay, I want to use the bellows. And the firewood. Use the firewood with. Oh, I gotta get the fire, maybe? Gosh dang it. it well, let me do it with the bellows. No, no. Uh, the gas, the fire. How about my wand? Okay. Oh, I have that, but I've already got those firewoods. See, I've got these boards, but if I've got firewood, I don't know why I would need the boards. I think so I got these boards by the by the stairs. Old boards. They're so dry that they're almost disintegrating. Okay. A neat pile of firewood. More than enough to make it. Uh. Can we put it in the fireplace then? Use it with the fireplace. Together with some fireplace travel powder, this fireplace could be my ticket to the library. Okay. So we have firewood. Evidently we don't know how to light a... Oh, let's try the other way around. Let's get our... Magic wand. Can we use that with the firewood? Oh, conjure up a I fire. Conjure fire. Oh, come on. Part of my mage training, but I never learned. Uh, oh, I know. Let's try the bellows. And then, wait. Well, can we use it on the firewood? That won't help with no fire burning. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way around it. We need some fire. There was some other game we played that was kind of like this where you had to, you know, do things in the right order to get it to work. Uh, maybe that was, um, was definitely Creeks was like that.
So I feel like it's the, the fire maker is an amazing piece of engineering. Yeah, that's what I think. It's the you fire maker. Gas, which is then okay. Using complicated so we need gas for the fire maker. But I don't know what we put the gas in. I feel like we have to capture the gas for something. With something that we also don't have. Oh, maybe we can like use the Okay, can we help you with that? Maybe we use the bellows. And they make changes to make play easier. Not quality of life, but... Anybody have any ideas? thinking I feel like we need to get gas into the fire maker oh that's so annoying I hate that that happens to me all the time All right, you guys, I'm going to have to look it up. I really have no idea. I feel like we've touched everything. All right, let me catch up here. Entrance hall, classroom. Read all the files. I'm not reading all those files, for heaven's sakes. Really? Uh, that's interesting. So one of the things we were supposed to do was flip those two levers. It was opening the window and then the cobalt was going to fly out. All right, all right, all right. We got some ideas here. Get Why away. When you can do magic, the automation oh, I forgot I had my deal open. All right, so one thing we're going to do. Remember he told us, the, the troll told us not to stick a coin in something? So we're going to do something with our coins. He told us about, told the walkthrough said something about putting these coins in the door. Which is going to annoy the um, troll. If I put a coin into the gap in the door, on the same side as the hinges, the door won't open anymore. Done, and the caretaker never twigged. <laughs> oh, hello. Ah, why have you always got to be in my face? I think there's a coin stuck in the door. Can't open it anymore. Did you stick a coin? <laughs> no. Oh, it wasn't I me. Hate it when the doors get blocked. Okay. Quick now. Omnia nunc aperit. Hey, Caitlin. How are you doing? All right, now we want to get the keys. 
Oh, yay! Maybe now we can get the broom. Because what I really want to do is clean up. <laughs> I don't care about the rest of it. <laughs> we'll come back to the fireplace thing. I really just want to do this part. <laughs> One of these keys has got to fit. Ah, there we go. Yay! Now we can get the broom. What are those noises, Professor? <laughs> exactly, <William>? Olgit. <laughs> I, I, I was just removing an ugly stain from our display case. Our school's achievements should be there for all the world to see as a shining example. Well said. I hope no one notices the broom is missing. I'll put it back when the job's done. I hope no one notices the broom is missing. I'll put it back when the all job's right, done. All right, now. Maybe we're going to magic the broom like, um, of course, now I immediately forget the movie. You know, Fantasia, like Fantasia. Okay. Broom. And magic spell. Oh, maybe I have to go the other way around and put the spell on the broom. Uh, let's see. Not the open spell, the automation spell on the broom oh come on <laughs> glorious broom do i just sweep i want right. to i want to i want to be magic up. sweeping Song on the lips and up we go oh oh who am i trying to fool the, the dirt is rock hard and impossible to shift, and, and the broom's too big for me, and, and the hole's huge, and, and I hate cleaning. It'd take me hours to get this done. It there is. We have this spell. Okay. That's a little convoluted, but okay. Yeah, right? Sassy me too. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Why work when you can do magic? Look at it go. Sweeping diligently, all by itself. Yeah, I it looks so much better. We're just shifting the dirt around. With magic, nothing ever really goes wrong. Exactly. From Fantasia, that's exactly right. Uh oh, the troll seems like he has something to say. anything to talk to him about so that's good yeah that is good all right well that doesn't help us <laughs> that doesn't help us with the uh it doesn't help us with the cobwebs how am i supposed to get up there to remove the cobwebs i'm not good with heights like most gnomes i get nervous when the soil is further than one gnome oh look so the top window is open up there now so i wonder if the cobalt flew out Its quality of life means changes made in a game to make it a smoother playstyle. <laughs> so you were right all along. All right, let's see. About this windows closing and opening up at the top up there. All right. So if we open it, will the cobalt land on it? There was something about... And the hitbox is so small, I can't figure out how to... I can't get the right place for this other lever. It's just opening and closing the one lever. Oh no, there's the other one. Oh, there we go. But I'm not sure... Man, it's so hard to pull these levers. Let's see, pull the right lever to open the bottom window. OK. 
Okay. So close that one. But he didn't land on it, did he? It's really hard to get in the right place to use these levers properly. Okay, so he's supposed to. So close that one. I wonder if we already did it. I was doing the levers and I didn't even notice it. There is one up there. Now, see, now I can't get him to do the other lever. Come on. No, now, yeah. So the idea here is that he's supposed to, that when you open the bottom one, which we did, that cobalt up there is supposed to land on it. And then we open the top one and he flips out. Did he go out? Maybe he went and we didn't notice. All right, we'll check back later. I don't see him flying around. Oh, there he is. Okay. So let's open the bottom window. No, not that one. What it says was, if you don't close the windows back again, he'll come back in. And it may be, because we didn't know what the le lever was doing that I did it right by accident, and then I didn't close the other one. Oh, good heavens. These levers are really hard to affect. Or at least I'm finding them that way. Okay, so we got that one closed. And maybe he came back in and we're not going to be able to reset this. Wait, seems like he's on the top one now. Ugh. Oh, wrong one! Damn it! Oh, there, I think we got him. All right, Sorry. close it. Close it. Oh, wait, he came back in. Oh, come on. This is so crazy. All right, close that one. I think getting rid of these cobalts is one of our tasks. We should be able to do this easily if we could work these levers a little bit more effectively. Okay, that opens the bottom one. Supposedly, then that makes him sit on the top one. So he's not sitting on the top one. I don't know, let's close that one. I'm tired of messing with that. Hopefully we can get it to work later. I thought we had it there. He was sitting on the top one. Okay, what are we doing now? We got the sweeping happening forever. Uh, let's go back in the classroom, maybe. Try to figure out the whole, uh, gas thing. Wait. I'm looking at this walkthrough and because I'm jumping all over the place, it's not working out too well for... Yeah, see that cobalt is still in. Okay. Oh, look at that. We just had to leave and come back. Okay, Broom, you can stop. 
But of course, we don't know how to make it stop. No surprise there. Stop, I said! I may have a little problem. There has to be a way. By the power of magic manifested in me, I command you. By the stop. powers of magic manifested in me, I command you, stop. Please. Hmm. All right, that didn't work. Birds are flying, toads are leaping. Now is when the broom stops sweeping. Shazam! Oh, I should have known. After all, I'm, I'm not a witch. Maximus Dominum Brumus Prudere! Brumanus Eon Domus Comicus Victorus! Hmm, nothing. Um, maybe I'd have more success if I didn't make stuff up. <laughs> Oh, All right, so we got won. the cleaning. We just haven't turned the, the broom off. But don't gotta you get, get this uh, freaking cobalt out. After I find some help. Oh gosh, oh, Freddy, with this part. Now we left and came back in. Maybe it'll work this time. Seems like he's on the top one now. There. He went out. Well, we can't get Hurry. it closed close quickly enough. He won't even move yet. No, 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 no! Oh, God, stupid thing. God dang it. No, go back over there. And oh, he's back in now. Crap. I'm telling you, you guys, this is so annoying. Oh, no, that's the other one. And then there's like this big pause where he can't do anything. Come on. How am I supposed to get up there to uh. move the cobwebs? I'm not good with heights. Like most gnomes, I get nervous when the soil is further than one gnome away. Come on, use the other lever. Yeah, see, he's back in now. Damn it. You'd think you'd be able to just stand here and then the, use the lever. Oh, maybe you can. <laughs> all right, let me, after the pause. All right, let's see if we can get the other one closed now. Ah, come on. All right, if I can get this other one closed. All right. All right, now we're just going to go stand here at this one until the thing lands on it. Wait, not that one. All right, now he's out. Now we're just gonna stand here. Sorry. Oh, he's in. God damn it. I don't get it. It seemed like he did land on it. And then we flipped him out. But then he came, before we were able to close it again, he came back in. Oh, good grief. All right, he's going over there again. Okay. Use the lever. Out. Boop. Okay. Sorry. No, he's not out. He's in. 
What the heck? It, it can't, yeah, it is actually. But the main problem that I'm having with it is that these, the hitboxes are so precise that it's really hard. Like with this lever thing, it's hard to know, it's hard to get the levers working properly. Like I need to, what the instructions say is use the other lever to open that bottom window, which somehow gets the cobalt to be on the top one, and then flip the top one and he pops out and then close the levers, close the windows, which seems really easy, but doesn't seem to be, but it's so hard to get the, get them to hit properly. Ah, oh, damn it. All right. Ugh. And to really to even know which one you're doing. Now he's back off of it again. God damn it. I'd hate to think I have to watch a YouTube for this. But <laughs> No, not that one. I don't know, Sazzy, how you did this when you played this game. All right, that's the close one. That's big, right? It's more the mechanics of the game than the like difficulty of the puzzles that I'm struggling with. All right, now that one's open. All right, now let's go to the other one. Can I not use the other one until this one's done? Okay, that Hi. flips him out. Oh, there we go. Okay, then close the windows. Okay, now can I get this other one closed? Any chance? Yeah, I got all that. I, I got the instructions for it. Hi. I just... Crap. I just can't seem to get the two. Now you gotta close them to close the windows so he doesn't come back in. It's getting, it's hitting the right lever is the problem. The hitbox is so precise or small or something. I keep hitting the wrong one. See, damn it. Bye bye. Well, at least we got him to say bye. That seems promising. Okay, now I gotta close the other window though. Oh, yay, finally. Okay, I think we got That's that taken it. care of. Yay, that was tedious as heck. All right, we got the exterminator trophy for that. All right, let's go back and talk to the headmaster. At least we got two of the jobs done. Whew. Well, no, because we haven't got the cobwebs yet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to search the file cabinet. Excuse me, Headmaster Block. Yes. Uh, about those tasks. So we gotta get the cobwebs yeah. done. All cobwebs have been driven off, as far as I can tell. Good job, then. How did the vermin actually get? Uh, it? well. For, um, oh, you guys! Goodness, I'm like 20 minutes over. Lost. I didn't even Some realize it. Must have summoned them. Or the Archmage. Let's Some see if uh bad in my new job. Luckily, I was able to contain the cobbled plague. You? Well, actually, exactly. it was me. I did, Sonny. <laughs> but who ordered you to do it? I All right, let's get this part taken care the of. Fight against the dirt has been won. But not the Very cobwebs. Well. However, what is your position on enchanted items? As long as they function properly and can be controlled, no problem. 
Then, there's one more little thing I still have to do. Um, what I wanted to... Hmm? So, I'll get back to so work. So he'll then. have to still do the you cobwebs. Do After all, you have already accomplished. Let's go something. back out in the hall and see if anything's changed, and then we'll see who we're going to raid over to. I should have known because I eat breakfast right after my stream and I'm starving. <laughs> so I should have known. Uh, all right, so we still got the broom and the cobweb situation. There has to be a way. I would really like to turn this broom off, though. By the powers of magic manifested in All right, you guys, let me see who we can stop. raid over to. He's Thank you, Dragon Spud. Nothing. <laughs> let me see. Who's on? Jogzy, uh, who's a new friend who raided over to me a few times when I was playing Elden Ring, is playing Stardew Valley, which I think is a perfect segue from this game so let's go over there let's see let me give you his link whoops jogsy let's see if i do it right whoops jogsy 29 underscore uh nope that's not it hold on Well, I don't know why that's not working, but let's just jump over there. Let me give you guys the raid command. Hopefully it will work. Uh, hopefully the raid will work and we'll get there. All right, let's go say hi to Jogzy, play in Stardew Valley. You guys, this was fun. It was interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting into it. And uh, we'll be back this afternoon at 4 p.m. Central Standard, which is GMT minus 6 with some more Elden Ring. And then right back here at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, we're going to say hi to Jogsy in just a couple of seconds. Here we go. Ready and go. Bye, everybody. Check you later.